Could I interest you in quantum computing as a service? Honeywell has unveiled Model H1, a quantum computer with 10 qubits reaching a quantum volume of 128, quoting TechCrunch. That's higher than comparable efforts by IBM, but also well behind the QV4 million machine Ionic says it was able to achieve with 32 qubits. The H1 will be available to enterprises through the Azure Quantum Platform, and the company says it is partnering with Zapata Computing and Cambridge Quantum Computing on this project. In addition to the next generation of its quantum computer, the company also today announced its overall quantum roadmap for the next 10 years. The plan here is to go from 10 to 40 qubits with all-to-all connectivity as it moves toward a next generation of devices that are fault-tolerant and can be deployed at a larger scale, end quote. Yeah, 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 great. But what about that quantum computing as a service thing, quoting ZDNet? The tech world may have to make room for a new acronym, perhaps Qubits as a Service, QAS, or some such, as Honeywell has introduced what appears to be the first subscription-based plan for quantum computing usage. With the introduction Thursday of the company's Model H1 quantum computer with 10 qubits and a logical quantum volume of 128, the company detailed a plan to charge in a subscription fashion based on monthly access to the machines. The subscriber license gives a company access over the course of a month to blocks of, quote, dedicated time in two different flavors, standard and premium, with eight hours per month of dedicated time or 16 hours respectively. The idea of blocks of time is to accommodate the need to provide something like quality time in which to do quantum experiments. Quote, we're talking about significant time, said Tony Utley, president of Honeywell Quantum Solutions, in an interview with ZDNet. That's what we are finding is the most useful right now. It's not going to be a five-minute interaction with a quantum computer. It's not even going to be an hour-long interaction, said Utley. These are interactions that you want to have tens of hours on before you can demonstrate the kind of utility coming from these systems, end quote. One reason for the subscription is that there is still substantial hand-holding that happens. Those windows of time include participation with the customer by Honeywell quantum theorists and Honeywell operations teams who work hand-in-hand with customers. The hands-on approach of Honeywell to customer subscriptions makes sense given that much of the work that customers will be doing initially is to gain a sense of trust, said Utley. They will be seeing what results they get from the quantum computer and matching those to the same work on a classical computer to validate that the quantum system produces correct output. On top of the blocks of dedicated time, each subscriber can get queuing time, said Utley, where jobs are processed as capacity is available, end quote. So I love this. I love the idea of QAS, Q-A-A-S, quantum as a service. But I also love that we've basically reinvented good old timeshare computing. 